Hello, good day, guys. My name is Olaf Sendifit, and today we are treating uh, SS201 estimation. And in this tutorial, we expected to treat the confidence interval and estimation with specific range. Let's get right in. Yeah, welcome back. So we are treating confidence interval, which is used to estimate estimation of population mean. I'm going to go straight to the point, so I won't waste your time. And at the same time, I explain as we go. So when you are estimating population mean from a sample, which is more like finding the confidence interval of any population mean from the sample then the formula you are using is sample mean plus or minus the z score or the alpha level multiplied by the sample standard deviation and uh, the population standard deviation all over sample size this is actually the formula you are using to solve for any confidence interval so what does this confidence interval mean it means for example if you are told to pick a number and um, give it a little bit of allowance oh yeah let me pick this if you are told to carry out the measurements for example and uh, remember in physics if you are told to carry out the measurements they give a particular allowance now that allowance is just for error for the sake of error so if you are told to measure a particular if anything Maybe a measure a length or anything, and or the width of an object, and probably the when the lecturer measured it, the lecturer measured the width of the object and found it to be, let's say, 20 grams. Now it's going to give an allowance of maybe plus or minus 0.5. That plus or minus 0.5 is actually the error that he left, the confidence interval. So anything greater than 20.5 is wrong to the lecturer and anything less than 19.5 is wrong to the lecturer so that's the confidence interval he has given and that's what the confidence interval here means so if i thought to calculate anything and to put an in any confidence interval this is how you do it this is the formula you use so now let's treat a question let's treat a question now this is a question the average monthly consumption of a sample of 100 families is this monthly electricity consumption so the sample of the 100 100 families so the sample size is what 100 family n is 100 now and their average monthly consumption is found to be electricity consumption is found to be 1250 units assuming the standard deviation assuming the standard deviation is 50 units that's assuming that the population standard deviation this time around is 50 units for all families the standard deviation is 150 units for all families now construct a 95 percent confidence interval Estimating the actual mean of electricity consumption. So I'm taking the question again. We have 100 samples, 100 families in the sample taken, and the from the sample, it is saying that 1,250 1, units is actually the unit they use monthly. Now, assuming the standardization of all families, this time is taking all, not just this 150, uh, 100 families, all families, their standard deviation. Standard deviation of units taken is 150. Now construct a 95% confidence interval. Remember the question. Remember the formula that I gave. X uh, X bar confidence interval is X bar plus or minus the Z the alpha level uh, and uh, multiplied by standard deviation of the whole population all over square root of sample size. Okay. Now. It's already straightforward. All we just need to do is put in everything. But there's one thing here. How do we get this Z score? The Z score is actually this alpha level. 
this confidence interval and how do you check it you check it on a normal distribution well that should be i'm going to cover that in another in another video so that i'll keep this video short but i've given i've written out a list of this or a list of alpha levels here so you can try and you can try and maybe screenshot or write them down or something so since it's 95 then this is the one we are going this is the one we are actually working with since it's 95 so 1.96 that's the value that we need so going back to the question sorry yeah going back to the question 1.96 that's the alpha level so alpha level of uh, 95 equals to 1.96 so everything is set all we just have to do is fix them now the mean is 1 to 50 plus or minus 1.96 times standard deviation of 150 units all over square root of sample size so i believe we can take it from here i believe we can take it from here sorry i'm not with a calculator right now so i cannot so i believe we can take it from here that's actually the answer the point is you understand what you're actually dealing with in the first place so confidence interval the formula for confidence interval the lesson we are taking on here is the formula for finding confidence interval for sample mean let's not forget this is a sample mean this is the z score for the confidence of the confidence interval confidence level or you can call the confidence coefficient anything and this is the population standard deviation standard deviation this is the sample size so let's not let's not make mistake this is the sample size so that's that now what is the question what question was a little bit different this time around we are told to find we are told to uh, um, estimate given a particular value yet if, if you don't want your value to pass plus a uh, error of a plus or minus so, so, so value then how would you estimate the number Okay, now what if the question comes this way? Given that a population with a standard deviation of 8.6, what sample size is needed to estimate the population of mean within 0.5 and 99% confidence? So now here, you are expected to find the sample size. Given that your error shouldn't pass plus or minus 0.5 this is it let's write the parameters out given that the error should not exceed plus or minus 0.5 and the in confidence the confidence level is 99 percent confidence level is 99 percent and the standard deviation for the population is 8.6 have this now you're told to find the, the number of samples you're told to find the number of samples that can fit into this category so how would you do this this time around the formula to use is n equals to the alpha level squared plus standard deviation of the population squared more like the variance estimation squared uh, uh, sorry the error squared so i believe it is straightforward now the question now is what is 90 99 percent confidence 99 percent confidence going back to what we have here 99 percent confidence is 2.576 so 2.576 so this is 2.576 now we can then fit 2.576 squared multiplied by standard deviation squared all over 
euro 0 0.5 squid so it's straightforward so that's basically estimation and um, in the next video we're going to cover hypothesis testing thank you for staying with us ciao